M0 FXB, just a quickie, just having a look at the brochure for the ICOM ID52E, multifunctional dual band digital with color display and Bluetooth. So as you know, it's all been delayed. <clears throat> We're all waiting for it. We're hoping that the price isn't going to be too high. One thing I just want to start this video off by saying that there is definitely no Wi-Fi in this radio. And if you know about the ICOM 705, that includes um, that does include Wi-Fi, although there is full Bluetooth. There is also no APRS, but there is DPRS, and that's a shame because full APRS is, is more more fun to use. But otherwise, you do get your color screen. You get a nice, as you can see here, see if we can click on it, get a nice picture up, nice dual display. I'm guessing it is, I mean, let me know if I'm wrong. It's only can receive digital one uh, you know at one time on a or b but it can receive it on you know on a and b it's full full dr mode um so and obviously the color screen is very appealing dr mode is excellent you know dr mode to me is one of the best systems out there um so yeah we've got the um some you know some color um sort of uh, sorry about this uh, sort of description for gateway calls, simplex calls, terminal mode, access point, uh, gateway mode, and your usual repeater. Now, the thing I've noticed is that in the further down description, when you're in terminal mode, you do need the OPC 2417 or the OPC 2418 cable. Now, I'd like to know the difference between one and the other, so that's a question I have. Um, <clears throat> so, why can't it be done wi wirelessly? Why haven't they included Wi-Fi um, so this is a big question to me because you think they would have included that so oh I can see here it says down here type C OPC 2418 and type micro B OPC 2417 so does that mean it's it's gonna uh, have two two charging ports Advanced color display, we know about that. Now, if you look here at the menus, we DV gateway, that will be for um, terminal mode. Then you've got your set GPS. Yeah, GPS does work well on these radios. FM broadcast, yeah, we had that on the 51. Recording, memory, picture, sending. Well, we actually did have that on the 51 plus 2. You needed the 2350 cable. Voice recording, so yeah, some Bluetooth gadgets here I'm sure they work well I mean Bluetooth's very hit and miss with these ham radios isn't it Hern Bear yeah just usual DR now yeah we know about the <clears throat> is it the RS MS1A app or the other way around that you can download for free and actually that actually does work very well I've used it on uh, my Icon 51 my 705 and even on my Kenwood D74 so if you look here, dual watch including VV or VHF, VHF, UHF, UHF, v, yeah, yeah, we know that. So it's full, it's full dual band regarding analog radio. Um, yeah, FM broadcast, GPS, has an SD card, which the, the 51 had. Micro USB connector, yeah, no mention of the micro C connector, so I'm not sure what that meant. CIV, yeah, nothing new I can see here. Waterproofing, other features. Yeah, bigger speaker, louder speaker, that's good. Um, he, DV fast mode, yeah, had that in the 51 plus 2. Um, yeah, nothing else new here. Power jack. Specifications. Is it going to let me even look at that? So have a look through. Uh, mode, memories, yeah, a lot of memories, 1,000 it says there. Memory channels, frequency, temperature, stability, battery pack. Looks like it's the same as what was in the 51 and the 705. Current drain, transmit power, 5 watt. So just the usual stuff. You're not seeing anything new here. Right, A band. So there's your frequency coverage. A. Now is the A no A isn't the same as B. So B is um, 
2 meters and 70. Um, 2 meters 70 here on A. And then we've got this, these bands here on the A. Battery pack, we know about that. Wall charger. Optional accessories. <coughs> um, yeah, well, it looks pretty nifty, doesn't it? HM153 LS. Yeah, quite smart looking device. Don't know what it is, but... Um, earphone microphone. Yeah, very cool. Uh, go back one. Let's just select that again. Sorry. Um... Yeah, that's okay, okay, microphone. Now that looks more fun. HM75LS. Yeah, I like the look of that. Reminds me of the one on this 705. Looks like it'll be fun to use. Um, so, so there you go, and then obviously support and download, brochures and firmware, already got firmware, USB driver, it's all there. Um, the thing here about the the delay, the delivery delay. Um, yeah, we've you know it's just they're not really given any dates. They just so yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? But yeah, it will it will come eventually. So I'll just go back and have a quick look at the brochure. If that's a brochure name, let's just hit it. Let's just hit that. And then we'll look at the brochure and then we're in the video. Bit slow loading up. Sorry about this. Laggy laptop. Come on. There you go. So there's the brochure. So we'll end it by looking at this. Um, got some screenshots. Got the actual radio, which, come on, it does look fantastic. Um, it's quite big compared to the 51. Look at these details in case we missed anything. Can't see anything we missed. There you go. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this and um, let me know if you're thinking of getting one or not. I'm, I'm interested to know how many of us want one because a lot of us have the Kenwood D74. So M0FXB73, catch you on air.